focus on a couple of stocks. TCS Express, well, the stock has been under some pressure. It slipped around 9 10% odd in the last one month uh, and around 17% this year so far. Remember, the management earlier indicated that the full year target uh, growth of around 15 to around 16%, a bitter growth will be around 25 to around 28%. To discuss how the first quarter has shaped up, what's the outlook for FY24? We're joined by Chandar uh, Agarwal, uh, the MD, and uh, you know, at uh, TCI Express. Hi, Chandar. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, tell us, how has quarter one been so far? Mahindra Logistics, they said, not much has changed since quarter four in terms of sentiment as well as momentum. What about you? What's your view? In silent period, I can't really talk about quarter one. and mm -hmm. uh, But I can tell you for the whole year uh, outlook. And uh, it kind of seems to be in order as per our uh, targets. And okay. uh, I'll give you a brief, to give everyone a brief understanding of the uh, uh, the uh, you know, the growth cycle that's happened since COVID. So mm -hmm. in uh, this is based on the GDP uh, uh, growth of, uh, you know, India. In 2020, okay. we had a net uh, growth of 6.6%. In 2021, uh, India had a GDP growth of 8.7%. 22 was 7.2%. And uh, 23 going forward, I don't think more than 6% is what is going to be the uh, growth levels. Now, this clearly indicates that there's a, a very high base existing. So we, we had a growth of 28% in 2021, 18% in 2022, 15% in 2023. And I imagine that, you know, if uh, uh, in, in, in 2023, it will be about uh, 13 to again uh, 15%. So this year, the... Uh, you know, the uh, high base that we have seen since COVID will kind of okay. uh, start equating out. And I'm this is curious. for the whole moment. Yeah. And All right, Chandra. So, so basically, you know, we have some guidance that we had earlier from you. And as you said, quarter one, you're in silent period. But for the year, you're holding on to the guidance you had given us earlier, right? 50 mid-teens uh, yeah, growth, as well as yeah. on the top line, and a bitter growth of mid-20s, holding on to those Correct. numbers. Absolutely. Got it. Any price increases you've taken so far? Uh, so we have started the process, you know, Q1 is obviously, uh, it, it, it takes about a year to get the entire effect of the price increase. And that is uh, going on as we speak. Uh, there is no change in that. Okay. Uh, Chandra, hi, good morning. Since you're on track to meet your full year targets and you said the demand is also pretty good, let's talk about how much CAPEX you plan to put on board. Because I think your CAPEX was around 500 crores for, for the next couple of years till 2027. How much have you spent up until now? What will your capacity look like over the course of the next couple of years? And would you want to raise that CAPEX target given how good demand has been? Yes. So uh, let me start off by talking about the EBITDA level. First of all, this year, sure. uh, we will uh, be about we, we will be increasing it by about 50 basis point for sure. Uh, and then based on that, the uh, CAPEX is an on target uh, you know, of whatever we have uh, given out 500 crores for the five years. And uh, this year would be another 100 crores that we would be uh, investing and in. uh, we will be debt free still. Uh, there's no change in that. And uh, and branch expansion will be also, you know, the same way that we've been doing. Uh, no change in that. Uh, we have recently engaged uh, PwC for, you know, our structuring the entire country uh, branch basically mapping out the branches and everything so that's uh, uh, something that we have also initiated uh, you know also uh, the uh, the Pune uh, automation will start this uh, will happen this year so I think pretty much with all the high base and all the uh, you know uh, the the difference different situations globally that we have been facing uh, will kind of like start to smooth out from uh, this year going forward. So your CAPEX target will remain the same, right? 500 crores uh, until 2027. Yes. No change in that. Okay. No change in that. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, just, sorry, just one follow-up to that. Uh, your share of new businesses, uh, are you planning to take that up further? It's currently about 15% of your overall business. Uh, how much would it be over the next couple of years? And if yes, uh, will a large part of your CAPEX go towards new businesses as well? Uh, so, you know, the, the good thing is that the new businesses don't require much investment. We, they, they work off uh, our existing branches already. And of course, you know, we have to add more manpower, which uh, is, is going on as we speak. 
Uh, typically, we add about almost 200 to 300 people every year. And uh, so, and all that is absorbed in the new businesses. However, the new businesses are not capital intensive. Uh, and that makes it very uh, highly profitable also. So, uh, you know, with the entire high base now kind of like leveling out, we will see the real growth coming in. And uh, all the new businesses will also be, uh, you know, uh, having a, a very strong uh, re return on capital employed uh, going forward. Mm. Uh, Chandra, just wanted to talk about the, you know, in the near term, um, has your business been disrupted by the floods in North India? Uh, what percentage of your revenues comes in from these affected areas of, you know, NCR region, UP, etc., where we have seen uh, these unnatural floods this time? We have not been affected uh, at all. Because again, the uh, locations where the highways have been like, uh, uh, you know, like they have been disrupted, like broken or, you know, flooded, they are not the main highways. So they are not the, you know, the main link which uh, connects those small towns and everything to the big cities. So what's been your capacity utilization in Q1? We, uh, we, we have maintained it at about 85% uh, okay. and uh, We'll, go, keep, we'll increase it to about 85 and a half percent this year. Chandra, we'll leave the discussion um, here for now. Thank you very much for joining in.